Welcome back. In this video, we'll actually write the code for the Hello World Scylla contract. But first, we need to understand what does this contract actually do. This contract has two transitions, set hello and get hello. Set hello allows the owner of the contract to modify the mutable variable welcome message. And get hello is an interface that welcomes any caller with welcome message. Also, this contract has an immutable variable defined as owner. Now with that being said, now let's actually create the contract. So I go to ide.zelica.com and let me create a new file. I'll name this contract as hello world. Now let's actually start writing the code. So first we need to mention the Scylla version. So in this case, it's zero. Then we mention the library. So library is refers to the logical part of the contract. It, this contains only, you know, uh, global variables and functions that can be used throughout the contract. The, the part, the code that is present inside the library doesn't change the state of the contract. So let's keep the name of the library as hello world. Now let's actually define, write the contract. So that is written using this keyword contract. And then we mention the contract name. And we can also def write some comments, uh, which so sort of segregate these sections. So this is library section. Then this is contract definition. Also, we can say this is the Scylla version. And as you can see, the comments in Scylla are, are written in such a way we have an opening and closing bracket and we have two stars. And in between the stars, we write the comments. Okay, so we'll, we'll come back to the library section in just a moment. But first, let's define the contract. So as mentioned in the Hello World specification, we need to have an owner immutable variable. So that is done by writing contract hello world and then having bracket owner and then we specify the data type. So here the data type is a byte sync 20. This is the one uh, that is, uh, this is the address format and you can sort of look at it uh, 0x3 for this one. This is actually byte sync 20. So this is the data type and this is the variable name. Now let's write the transition. So that is done by writing using the keyword transition. Uh, we have set hello. And this takes an input, uh, this takes one argument. So let's call it message. And the data type is a string. And the trans we end the transition using the end keyword. Now let's also define a new transition, get hello. So get hello doesn't take any arguments and we just end the transition. Now let's actually write the code inside these transitions. So we first come to uh, set hello. In set hello, we first need to check that is the is the caller of this transition, is that person uh, the owner of this contract? So what we do is let's define a local variable that is local to this transition is owner. And we use the syntax to check for this. So we have built in equal owner underscore sender. And we have a semicolon because it's a statement. So what, what happened, what's happening here is we are using this built in equality operator. And this checks the equality of owner, which is the immutable variable and underscore sender. So this underscore sender is an implicit variable. And this refers to the address of the caller of this transition. So whichever co account calls this transition, the value of that account's address gets stored in underscore sender. And this will return either true if these two values are same, or it will return false if these two values are not same. So is owner would either be true or false. And then we need to have a check that if it's false, 
then we don't need to do anything. But if it's true, then we need to set the value of the welcome message variable to this message. Also, let's uh, write the create the welcome message mutable variable. So we have field welcome message. So field is used to define mutable variables and welcome message is the name of this variable and the data type is a string and let's initialize it to empty. So after, after this is done, what we'll do is we'll apply the match. We'll use match expression to it sort of like if and else or switch statements that you find in um, many other programming languages. So we match is owner with, so that's just the syntax. And then we have one vertical line and we say, okay, if it's false, then we'll do something. Um, and if it's true, then we'll do something else. Now we can first uh, talk about the true condition and when it's true, what we'll do is we'll set welcome message to be equal to message. So this is the uh, syntax that you use to update the value of a mutable variable. So here the value of the mutable variable welcome message gets updated to the value of uh, of this argument message MST. Now we'll emit an event to to tell the people who are listening to you know events on this contract that the value of the uh, welcome message actually got updated and said hello was called. So as discussed in the last video, um, you we will just create a new event. Uh, we need to specify an event name property. So event name here would be say set hello. And we need to have some other property that specifies that this uh, that it was successfully updated. So let's call it code and say we have code one if if it fails if if set hello was called but the variable was not updated and we call we have code two if it doesn't if, if it successfully updates the value of the welcome message. Now what we can do is we can define these uh, constants um, here in the library part of the contract. So let we have let's say not owner code equal to an unsigned integer with value one and let set hello code with an unsigned integer value two. So here what we'll do is value is set hello code and we emit this event. Now if, if it's false, what we'll do is we'll create a new event again. Event name is set hello. We don't need this um, and code would be in this case, not owner code, not owner code. And you can see we can use this not owner code again and again um, in the say in another transition as well. It's not tied to this transition. And just to clear things up a bit. So yeah, we also need to emit this event. So event E and we need to end this match statement. So end. So this is the set hello transition. Um, this is done. Now let's actually come to the get hello transition. What we need to do here is we need to first get the value of the welcome mes message and then emit that value as an event. So the syntax for getting the value of uh, of a mutable variable is this say we have this local variable r that is local to this transition and we use this leftward pointing arrow and we use welcome underscore message so here we retrieve the value then we create a new event specify the event name as get hello and 
we send the message so let's say message r and it's a statement so let's do a semicolon and then we'll just emit this event so that's the get hello transition um, and as you can see this our hello world contract is complete we have the Scylla version we specify the library so this is the library section then we have the contract definition um, then we have mutable variable uh, we declared this mutable variable we have transition set hello and we have the transition get hello so now let's actually run the Scylla checker okay so it shows that we get an error at line number 22 let's see so there's one semicolon that is missing and we need to use this syntax need to don't need to use an equals operator and uh, voila our checker passed so we can now actually deploy the contract and we need to copy our I'll just make my own address as the owner and here I am deploying using Zilpay just unlock the my Zilpay wallet and I'll confirm the transaction so now just let's wait for this transaction to get mined okay so our transaction got mined we can look at the relevant details at the dev explorer so we can see that this is these are the init parameters and uh, we can see the state of the contract and we can see the code of the contract so you see this code matches with what we had written here now let's actually change the state and let's achieve the functionality of this contract by calling the set hello and get hello transitions so first i'll call this call the set hello transition so let's write the message as Scylla is awesome and save again I'll use Zilpay to call this transition let's wait for this to get mined okay so we can see that this transa transaction got confirmed and we can look at the details so we can see that we have an event event emitted as well and the code is 2 which means the set hello was called successfully and the address calling was actually an owner and uh, here are some more details of the variable and so on um, this is details of the we we had this uh, we call set hello and the value of the message was Scylla is awesome and safe now let's actually call get hello and see what happens okay so this transaction also got confirmed let's look at the value in the dev explorer so we can go to the event log and we see the in the event log we have this variable message and Scylla is awesome and safe so as we go to get hello we'll find that we have this message and the event name is get hello and the value is Scylla is awesome and safe so and the, like you can see we can see here that the value is get hello so this actually concludes our tutorial on the hello world Scylla contract so we covered the basics um, of writing a contract in Scylla and in the future videos we'll actually go into depth and cover some more advanced concepts um, of writing Scylla contracts. So thank you for joining this video and I'll see you soon.